The answer is yes, and the reason why is the Democrats have failed the American public. With the highest inflation we've had in more than 40 years, your gas prices that you have never seen like this before, crime in our streets, and a border that's wide open that now has fentanyl to be the number one killer of Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. If we take the majority, we will make sure we lower the cost of energy, we become energy independent, we secure our streets to be safe, and then more importantly, we secure our border at the same time. And we give the parents a bill of rights to have a, a say in their kids' education. I don't know the exact number, but we're going to try to win every single one possible. Let me give you one good example. Just in the last month, we won a seat in a special election, in a seat that Joe Biden won by 13 points, that is 84% Hispanic, the second most Hispanic seat in the country. And the Republican had not held that seat in more than 100 years. And Congresswoman Myra Flores, who's never run for office before, she proved she could do it based upon securing our border, based upon making America energy independent so your gasoline price gets lower. We lower inflation. Parents have a say in their kids' education. The streets become safe again. With that type of idea that we can win in a seat like that, I think we can have a really, really big red wave. We will hold this administration accountable. We'll make sure the Attorney General can't go after parents for going to a school board meeting. We will have hearings on where COVID originated. We will have hearings on what happened in Afghanistan that created 13 more Gold Star families to make sure that never happens again. You know what I would look at? I would look at a race in Rhode Island. I would look at some of the New York seats you haven't seen before. I would look at California. I'd look at Nevada. I'd look at Oregon. And um, there is places clear across this country that I think you're going to see races you haven't seen before where an exciting new candidate is going to win. I think the extremism on the Democratic side has pushed people away from their party, yes. It shows on registration just in the last year, the party switchers overwhelmingly switching to the Republican Party. They want to see a party that reflects, puts people before politics, and that's exactly what the Republican Party is doing. We have a commitment to America.